I am brand new to pinhole photography, but I have fallen in love with the Harman Titan uh, 4x5 pinhole camera that Mike Walker of Walker Cameras designed and uh, he builds. Uh, it will take a standard 4x5 film holder, sliding it right in there, and uh, there you go. Couldn't be more simple than that. I found this bag at a local sporting goods uh, store. It's originally designed for holding frisbees and doing frisbee competitions, but um, it works perfectly for holding uh, film holders, the camera, also some different lens cones. This is the 150, this is the 110, and here's the 72 millimeter uh, lens cone. What I wanted to share was this uh, tripod platform that I fabricated at work. I'm, my day job is a yacht carpenter, so I have access to wood and woodworking machinery to make some things that I'd like to make for myself during my break times. So I took this scrap piece of teak and I drilled some holes and I potted some uh, rare earth magnets um, into the into the surface of it. I suppose if I wanted to make it more pretty I could have veneered that and hidden the magnets but uh, right now this is kind of prototype one uh, to see if uh, this would work. With the one wooden block uh, screwed into the tripod uh, base of the uh, Harman Titan camera and with the magnets on the bottom of it and here uh, it sits in there nice and, uh, nice and uh, firmly. For leveling up the camera, I've made some uh, wedges out of some scrap cherry and also I have a larger wooden block here so that uh, if the ground is uneven or whatever surface I'm on, I can actually uh, level up the camera using the bubble, uh, the bubble level in the top of the camera to help position it in any uh, orientation that I need to. For even more uneven ground or even for a more dramatic perspective, um, I have a larger wooden block that I can put under the base here, either in that orientation or this orientation and, and point the camera down. If I need to level it up a little bit, I can slide a wedge underneath there and tilt the camera even more. So I just wanted to show a little bit about what I'm doing. I guess if you're uh, smoking meat outside on a smoker, they talk about low and slow cooking. Well, <clears throat> I can now go low and slow with my pinhole camera and uh, try to get some unique perspectives with it. Alright, that's it.